Hi, just a quick video to talk about some work I've been doing with NET, that's um, National Electrotechnical Training. Um, those guys are the, the gatekeepers of the AM2 assessments or the occupational competence assessments or the endpoint assessments or whatever you want to call it. And so apprentices will be hearing about NET at some point through your apprenticeship. I was approached um, hmm, a couple of years ago, I think now. I was approached before the world went to shit anyway. Um, and what what was wanted was uh, try and find ways to help raise awareness of all of the guidance that NET had already provided to candidates and to give them better opportunities to be successful in their assessments because biggest problem was the number of people failing is you know still too, still too big and what net can't do is go oh okay everyone's failing let's just make let's make this a bit easier yeah like some other qualifications in history have done so they need to maintain that high bar that high level and try and find ways to allow people to get over that assessment which they believed was fair still at the time with the discussion that I had with them, um, my opinion was pretty much that candidates going on to an apprenticeship most often are fully informed of the apprenticeship, maybe the uh, you know the eight two two whatever it is or the two three five seven, which is basically the college's commitment to training. Yeah, these outcomes followed by those exams, science and principles, environmental legislation, blah 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 blah. blah. Um, and then the, the 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 whiff at the end is oh yeah, and then there's AM two. Um, and so what we've had is we've had a lot of colleges and training centres and all sorts of other online providers are now kind of creating a practice assessment, and that kind of results in a lot of colleges not bothering as well. So they'll push you through your training, and when it comes to your AM two, they'll go oh it doesn't really matter. We'll worry about that toward the end. Because we'll sell you or put you on a practice go. And NET are very much against this. Because that's completely what the point of the occupational competence uh, is. It's completely not what the occupational competence assessment is about. The point of the occupational competence assessment is to verify that the skills have been developed to the point where the experience with those skills can perform at a level that can then be considered as like authorized to industry or gateway to industry and we shouldn't just rehearse that it shouldn't be a rehearsal for a performance so what we needed to do was find ways to get candidates thinking about this assessment that's at the end of the you know end point of assessment at the end of their years of learning or weeks in some cases um and think about this at numerous points through that journey and this is what we've developed this app for and, and other apps have been developed um <clears throat> the one that i've worked with them on is an inspection and testing app i think it's called inspection and testing app i've assisted them in the voiceover and some of the direction of testing now the testing work in the app is to the script of net with regards to the methods it has to work with their expectations and so I would do things a bit differently, but we've done it following their sequence, and I've done a little bit of, of creative license on some of the voiceover work, but it's it's to their expectation. Okay, it's not a training app. None of the resources they provide are to train you; they are to make you aware of what is expected of you, and for you to then reflect on the resources okay to decide if you're familiar enough with what they're saying you need to do if you access these candidate resources and you think that you are in no way prepared you then need to talk to your employer or who you work with or even to your college and find ways to enhance and focus on those necessary little outcomes and bits that is the point of this really we need to find ways for you to think about this end point assessment I don't know that term, but the end point assessment, you've got to think about that on your way to it, which is not the week before it or the month before it, where they'll send sell you a practice day. 
it's the months and years leading up to that point so you can then look at what's expected and then you can find opportunities at work to actually go and practice those all right so we've done some work we've put this one app on they've done another app called amp i think it was um which looks at obviously um isolation or, or remedy of a fault uh, these are all just efforts to try to encourage you to get interactive with the resources that net provides it's not a problem for you to go onto their website by yourself you haven't got to wait for your college to give you the information there's guidance for candidates on their website okay it's absolutely fine for you to go on there anything that they let you access is fine for you to access you can download the candidate guidance you can see what's expected of you you can then decide if that's completely beyond your ability and now's the time to determine that so you can get that support from your employers or from your colleagues at work or even from your college if those opportunities are there all right but i've done this work with them because overall i need to try to do some work to improve training and net is one of those things that is pretty strong in its in its um integrity and the quality that it's achieving we, st we st still some improvements in some areas but um some great efforts have been made to maintain the high level um most definitely and we need to make sure that that integrity is kept so people who go through that actually you know are being prepared properly so we've done that bit of work <clears throat> that's now available and you do you need to you know if you are going through this apprenticeship and you're going to have to do an am2 this also applies if you're a mature candidate and you're thinking about doing your your um your your what is it i've forgotten the qualification number now two three four six whatever it is your mature candidate course which then needs the am2 e which is your mature one that candidate guidance is there as well for you so go and look at it and go see what you need don't just turn up and then pay someone to give you a practice run yeah that that stuff needs to stop okay it doesn't help you at all all right um <clears throat> that's just a quick talk for me really uh i've got more stuff that i want to talk about um i'm doing some more stuff with lads at e5 you know we've kind of started to doing some more podcasts again just felt like the time to start recording some of the things that we've discussed we've always been talking uh, mostly in my Discord, sometimes on a, in another area. The time is now to start recording some of these conversations. We've got so much more that we are going to do in a series right now. Um, we're just writing for the you know for everybody to be ready for that. We've also got some other stuff that we're putting together now to kind of just tackle some of the some of the current uh, nonsense that's going on in discussion points, like with our CDs and so forth. Um, I do get asked about thermal imaging a lot. So I have obtained a another camera because my only experience really has been with FLIR. Um, and I don't want I get asked, you know, what do you recommend? I'm like, well, I've never used FLIR. I'm going to get hold of a Fluke very soon. I have now got access to um, Hick Micro. Um, their m30 but i'll be looking at other ranges but i will start to do a couple of little t talks or videos about uh you know how to assess reflective apparent temperature determine emissivities and so forth uh because i get a lot of questions on that so i'll be putting some of that stuff together um i'll be putting some stuff on my own podcast as well probably starting in the next couple of weeks the e5 podcast we've brought back we're going to talk all technical that's all technical stuff um and you know let us know if there's anything you want us to kind of talk about or focus on we've got a lot but you know we're always interested just in case it's something that's you know we find very interesting and we'll, we'll do it uh my own podcast though is going to be stuck with the training industry stuff really because that's my main focus that's my main my main work is there um unless it's like i have to talk about um i'll probably get some other guys who are involved in training on board um, with regards to the net stuff, probably if you have any questions on the net stuff or the AM2 stuff, you can ask any questions, add it in the comments, but do check out Adrian Davies' YouTube. 
I'll add a little thinky linky thingy at the end of this video that will send you because he's he's I'll, I'll talk on his behalf I'm sure he won't mind he's fairly new to training he's been training uh over a year now but he's into his like uh you know he's he's really passionate about this and he's really learning a lot and that's great because he's been very honest about his opinion on this training and he's not been corrupted by the training sector at all which is really nice so you'll get some great honest opinions on training from him um so if you have any questions about the am2 the assessment or anything like that uh do subscribe and go and check out his channel and he'll probably come on to a podcast for me because we talk a lot about training okay um that's it for this um e5 podcasts are kind of be coming out every friday or every other friday depending on if we have a break but fridays maybe um they'll also be released on my channel but in the member section 10 days early it's like a 10 day preview for, for those but you don't have to worry about that because it is on fridays on the youtube channel 45 you know where to get that you're probably already um, subscribed to that one um that's it uh i'm gonna start i'm gonna, well, I'm gonna do another video very soon where i want to talk about something else because we're closing september which is um we're gonna talk about isolation I'll wait a couple of days, but then I'll do the I'll upload a video just kind of giving my opinion on how the month has gone. And I may have a couple of people come on board and talk about that as well. But uh we'll wrap this one up and I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers.